alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Raven team as they get ready here. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Falcons, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. Charles to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. Leading him out from Texas A&M at quarterback Kellen Mond. And I thought in last week's game, he found a way to win like a good pitcher without his best stuff. I mean, he did throw two interceptions, yeah. offset by one touchdown pass. Not the ratio, not the numbers you're really looking for as a QB. But finding... On the ready. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. I mean, he did throw two interceptions. Yeah. Offset by one touchdown pass. Not the ratio, not the numbers you're really looking for as a QB. But finding a way to win, that's all that really matters. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. First carry for Tyler Algier. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Get about three here as he's out to the 30. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Hey. Algier will try to pick it up. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. The Falcons at one and one through two games. The ball is finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. On second, here's Algier. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards. Here's Mon. And caught by London. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Still leaves on fourth and short. Any chance you go for it? I end up taking all that, putting it in my head, <laughs> and making a decision. And you know me, I'm probably going to go for it. Wow, well, Trent, you want to make an opening drive statement. Yes, I do. Once I have the ball and I've got it on the move, I don't want to just give up that easily. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 23 yards. Check that down, too. But once he saw the danger over there, he just threw that one over everyone's head. Smart play. Now Jackson, and he'll just get rid of it. That was their first third down. Staff it's takes right a look, we'll step aside. Hey. 
Gone to the air on first and ten. Got a man. It's London. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the mark. From the gun, a give to Connor. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of things to get out of the In this case, it's the Sean Benson. Backs in the league had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a lot of athleticism in a lot of cases because if you know where the ball's going before anyone else can get there and block you you can make up for lack of athleticism by being in the right spot at the right time and took him down in the backfield and with those instincts Turned down backed up here tough spot needing 11 yards to pick up the first third down from the gun it's mod Got a man, it's De'Ami Brown, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That third down conversion, good for 23. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes... Connor up the middle. And down to the 36-yard line here. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Are you off the... And they run the option on second down. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And this, I mean... prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game, and all that preparation, it goes right out the window. On first and ten is Connor. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball. Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to the sideline and said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and ten. On the counter, it's Connor. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. A great effort there. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Falcons are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. And defense for the Falcons, much improved from week one. They were terrific last week in getting their guys their first win of the season. And how'd you like to be the quarterback reviewing the game tape from last week and seeing this defense on the spot? <laughs> Equally as good. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. Offense at the line. They've got a 7 0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. The drive will start with Connor. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. On second down, Connor looking for space. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had spot here. He'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. He'll dump this off to Carter complete. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. The Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 15. He'll start with a handoff to Dobbins. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. They need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. He's got a man complete. And they work this well on field across the 45. It'll go as an impressive now. Here's another first and ten. Again, Jackson. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be... And that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson. And this one he incomplete. Oh, he couldn't hang on to it. Live on this play to move the sticks. Here's Jackson to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close. Outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective. Now he's looking just to add to his totals. They start the drive with counter. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 64 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, Parker, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at the, on the defensive side to start making plays. Ready? Mon looks to throw on first down. They'll drop that down to Carter underneath. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Idea here, get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. To throw again on second down. Mon into the hands of London. And they're able to work the... Nick Red. They run behind center with Connor. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard off at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left them no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now a throw here to his running back. And a five yard gain gets him to the 40. And it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he's going to have a Falcons first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. As an unbiased observer. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target. This one nearly picked off. Kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Mon looks to throw. That's complete to his running back, Connor. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brad. Before he gets going. Now Mon. Got this complete to the tight end, Pitts. And inside the five here before he's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort him to join them in the effort. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts will use it down by two scores. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there trying to get them off them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. On first and ten, here's Mon. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now the Falcons going to use one of them. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. Gun on third down. Jackson over the middle. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Dobbins. Touchdown, Baltimore. 
Well, no stays in your camp. Here's a handoff to Connor. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Okay, didn't break that one all the way, but you first here. They'll try and run for it with Connor. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Tough sliding. Jackson. Going for the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he left that one at Hoaches. Don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain. Again, a run with Connor. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of... Now it's Jackson. He's going to float this one deep right side. He's got a man complete. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. The secondary now on third. From the gun, Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up four. On second, here's Algier. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Not a ton of room. Third down, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and four. Now back to throw. Got his man. It's London. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down. They take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. On first and ten is Connor. And this time they were ready for him as they stop him. Should be able to carry it one more time to make sure you get in shape. Ready? Again, it's Connor. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 85 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football. Almost dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Connor up the middle. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches would have a rely. Counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. A nice. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's a good trade. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. On the counter, it's Connor. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Falcons are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead.
Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Jackson. Going to throw right side here, complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the town just inside the 35. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Now Jackson being chased out left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it. Starting the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers. Fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? We saw the four fingers for a four-minute offense. And this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. It carries like that. That's how they're... The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Algier again on second down. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Give him three on. Incomplete. I see a surprise in the face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Two knocks this one through the post, and that will extend. Get Neal and call it a day. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from